Greetings everybody, it's Jim. I'm back to be with you now. I'm back on the East Coast now. Got my office all set up here. And yes, we do have the Julius Caesar prototype in our grubby little hands and it looks fantastic. Just like the Rommel in the Desert game, it's just nice heft. The feel you're going to see it all in a little bit. I'm going to shoot you over in just a moment to Grant, and he's going to show you all about it. But I got three items of news to tell you real quick. When it rains, it pours. First off, the Fantasy Trip Bestiary is finally coming out on Kickstarter. This is the one I'm really excited about because of two main reasons. One, I love the Fantasy Trip from Steve Jackson Games. And two, my brother did the majority of the artwork for it. You know, I mean, yeah, there's some Liz Danforth. There's some Rick Kershey in there, I'm quite sure. But definitely, my brother's done the majority of the monsters and the counters, the artwork for the game. I'm very excited for you all to see it. Um, and uh, it's a 192-page book. And to pack it in there, they also have... The Fantasy Miniature STLs for people that have 3D printers, Foes number two. So it's going to be a big Kickstarter. So I imagine they're going to kind of resurge the Fantasy Trip. And if you haven't tried the Fantasy Trip yet, you can for free. Check out the link down below to get the Melee Combat Board Game for free. It's a PDF. It's great. And next is, if you haven't noticed, my throat's a little bit sore. I am... You know, I'm, I'm getting over a cold. It didn't stop me from finally making the silent death video, though. So you're going to have to deal with me. You're gonna, I'm going to sound like I'm, like, drawn out and everything like that. But I pushed through it, and I made it. So, I mean, I could have waited a week, but I was just feeling the urge to get it done. It took me five hours. Silent Death is the best spaceship combat game I've ever seen in my life, and it still is to this day. Find out why when I release the video. And, last but not least, uh, we all know David Pulver from games, uh, you know, like the Fantasy Trip or role-playing game. He's writing for that big time. Well, he's also written a few micro games as well, and he sent one to me. I liked it so much that I bought the rights for it, so I got my second micro game for Power Cell Games coming out. It's Operation Meteor. Can you survive the AI robot apocalypse? That's going to be coming sometime in the future from Kickstarter. But for right now, I am glad to show you uh, the Julius Caesar prototype preview. Let's take you over to Grant. received the prototype of the Julius Caesar 2nd edition from the printer just yesterday and I want to show you guys what it looks like. Open my chest of games, pull out 2nd edition Julius Caesar. First off it's in a nice new box with a real thick top and bottom and it's, it's just feels hefty and strong and solid. I love it. I'm really happy about it. Got a mounted map. It's a true mounted map, backed with backing paper that's black colored, six panels, and it's just gorgeous. It's solid and durable. So we have the stickers for the blocks. And these are Caesar's blocks, Pompey's blocks, and Cleopatra in the middle. And of course we have the blocks. Those are Caesars, these are Pompeys, and we have the blue one for Cleopatra. And those look great too. There are cards. These are the playing cards for the game. They are the same, but with a, a higher quality um, stock than, than before. We did make one uh, adjustment to the Jupiter card to make it a random determination which enemy unit will defect to to you when you play that card. But uh, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm really happy with that. And then we got the rules to the game. They're um, printed on a beautiful, glossy paper. Same nice, simple, straightforward eight-page rules. We made no changes in here either, except to codify the rule that Julius Caesar plays first in the first turn of the game, in the first year. So that's in there. And... Um, Really happy with this. I'm going to pour over it, study it, make sure that it's absolutely right, and then give the go ahead to the printer to execute on producing it. And we'll have it delivered and into your hands not too far down the road. Thanks for listening.